Now that is cool. Now that is the future of telemetry. Let's check them out. The entire set comes from Vspeak, ready to rock and roll. On one hand, we have the glasses, which project our telemetry data onto them. These are actually an off-the-shelf product. More about that in a minute, though. What brings the whole system together is the clever Vspeak glasses module, which collects the telemetry data from our radio and sends them in real time to the display or projector in the glasses. Thanks to this little Vspeak glasses module, we can actually use any set of glasses with active look technology, which also provides us with a nice selection of shapes, colors, and even styles to choose from. They even have sets with photochromatic lenses or self-tinting, getting darker or lighter depending on how bright it is out. Personally, I had the opportunity to test out a few different sunglasses back at Pro Wing earlier this year, and myself, well, I went for the Ango 2 standard. So let's unbox them and take a closer look. So this is how our glasses arrive in their Ango wrapping. Now I know because it's already fallen out once, we've got a V-Speak logo in there. Now on one of these sides, as you can see, we've not opened this yet. There we go. Are you going to open it upside down? No. So, first look at my brand new glasses. Flip this round. Engo. They come in a nice little case. What else have we got in here? What other goodies? So we have the charging wire, which is USB on one side and its own proprietary connector on the other. It comes with a lanyard. It comes with a few of these rather unusual looking sticks. A carry pouch. A cleaning cloth. and a manual, which hopefully after this video, you won't need. And then of course, we have the glasses themselves in their own carry case. So we don't really need that pouch. Got our glasses. On the back of them, we can see we have our connector for this magnetic charging wire, which only fits on one way. So there's no possibility for reverse polarity. Right above it, there's a small little hole where there's an LED. And then just above it, we have the on off switch, which if we hold it down for approximately three seconds, you can see they turn on and that LED goes green. Now, those little sticks, these are actually for cleaning the part of the glasses in front of where the projector is, where it's not too easy to reach in with your bare finger. They're also relatively weather resistant, so they're okay with that profuse sweating from a nervous test flight, or if rain comes in and spoils play while we're flying. And then we have the smart little box, the Vspeak glasses module. This is what brings it all together and makes it work. This is what converts our transmitter telemetry into a valid signal for our glasses to be able to display the signal to us. Now, depending on what brand of radio you're using, you'll need either the Powerbox version, the Jetty version, or the Groutner version. This one is the Powerbox version. And on the sides, we've got information for the Wi-Fi and the port or website that we'll need to access for programming. But we'll get to that in a moment. They effectively work like a heads-up display. So similar to fighter jet pilots, 
or slightly more mundanely, those cars which show their speed reflected on the windscreen. They have a small projector in the bottom which projects our telemetry data into the top left hand corner of the right side lens. What does that mean? It means that it's not in our direct field of view, so there's nothing distracting us from actually flying. However, we can very easily read that information just by glancing up ever so slightly and we can read it without having to completely lose track of what's happening in the sky with our model. Now, obviously, having a projector in our glasses requires a battery, a projector and a mirror. All that adds some bulk to the centre section of the glasses. There's no getting around it. The weight isn't an issue. They feel just like any other pair of sunglasses. However, there is a larger volume in this centre area to what you would be normally used to with your standard sunglasses. So, what's it actually like living with them? Well, when you first put them on, there's no getting away from there's something here. But you've only just put them on and it's something new. You're not used to it. As soon as you've been wearing them for a few minutes, at the end of the day, you're looking at your plane over there. You're not looking at the tip of your nose. So very quickly, you forget about this, you stop even seeing it when you're not thinking about it, and they're just another pair of sunglasses. So is it an issue? No, but it is there. So how do we actually get it all working? I'm going to be using my Powerbox Core Radio. However, it does work with Jetty and Groutner systems as well, albeit with their own brand-specific vSpeak glasses module. First of all, we need to get the telemetry data from our model to the vSpeak glasses module. This can be done with the Powerbox in one of two ways. The first option would be to connect the vSpeak glasses module into our transmitter directly. This is done via the provided patch lead into the servo data port or PPM port on the front. We just need to set this port to export a P2 bus signal which contains all of that precious telemetry data. To do this, we just need to go into our radio's menu, settings, system, and change the servo data line from PWM to P2 bus. Our second option allows connecting the vSpeak glasses module to a standalone receiver. And as such, we can pull all the telemetry data wirelessly without needing a direct connection to our radio. In this case, we just need to connect any Powerbox receiver with a fast track output and set it to P2 bus out. In the case of Groutner radios, a similar principle is followed to the wired setup that we just described, with the vSpeak glasses module being connected to the radio's data port, which will also need to be set to telemetry out, which is usually accessed via the menu data, Bluetooth. As for Jetty radios, again, a wired setup is required. The only difference is that the connection needs to be made inside the radio, so that means taking the back off. And then the vSpeak glasses module is left inside. Specifically, it's connected to the P1 port on the transmitter's main board. Also, take care not to reverse the connectors as reverse polarity will damage the vSpeak glasses module. It's worth noting that the whole system is only compatible with Jetty colour screen transmitters, so not the black and white ones. Anyway, back to Powerbox. So in our radio, from default, we need to set channel 18 to a three position switch, with endpoints set to minus 100, zero, and plus 100. We can change that channel later on if we want to. Plus 100% will be our standard on position when using the glasses. This position basically activates the Bluetooth, allowing connection between the glasses and the vSpeak glasses module. In this position, we can also bind our new Active Look glasses to our vSpeak glasses module by simply turning the glasses on and it will automatically lock on and save the link for all future uses. If we swapped glasses and wanted to rebind to a different set, we just need to wipe the bind data but we'll get to that in a moment. Minus 100% will put the vSpeak glasses module in setup mode, 
which activates a Wi-Fi signal that can then be used to program it from any device, be it a phone, a tablet, laptop, etc. With the switch set to minus 100%, we get our device and connect to the glasses Wi-Fi, which is printed on the side of the box. We now navigate to the website, which is also printed on the box, and here we'll be able to change which of the available telemetry data we want to be displayed on each line of the display. The setup here is quite self-explanatory, with the first option in each of the three boxes being the master device sending the telemetry, and the second box being the specific telemetry data from that master device that you want to be shown on the display. In both cases, it's exactly the same as choosing any telemetry widget in our Powerbox radio. The final box allows us to change which channel is used to control the glasses. So by default, that's set to channel 18, because that way it can be easily accessed both from core and atom radios. And then we have some preferences for the display, such as more minus signs to make it more obvious when showing a negative number, or if you want to show or hide the reference units to free up more display area. Below this, the web app will also display the data of the glasses that the vSpeak module is connected to. If we wanted to change glasses, we would select the reset address and then rebind our new glasses. To save, just switch from minus 100 that we were in to either 0 or plus 100. The center position, so 0%, will also turn the glasses off, although we will need to turn them back on manually using their own on-off button. Grautner radios follow the exact same procedure as just seen with my Powerbox radio. The only difference being that instead of using a radio channel to program, a bind plug is used instead. Jetty, on the other hand, uses a completely different procedure, where all you need to do is download and install the Jetty Lua app, VS Glasses. Once we've got that installed in our radio, instead of using a web app, we would just need to navigate to the vSpeak Glasses app inside our radio. You access this by navigating to Menu, Applications, User Applications, vSpeak Glasses. From here, we can select and modify the desired telemetry to be shown in the same way as described in the web app just a moment ago. It's worth pointing out that as we've just seen, this entire system runs based on the sensor data that is received back via telemetry to our radio or auxiliary receiver. This gives us a massive amount of data to choose from, from any number of sensors included in our model. I mean, if we look at the setup even just in the model behind me, even before adding additional sensors, straight out of the box, I'll be able to choose from the receiver's signal strength, receiver status, their voltage, and a few more. Through the power box, I can see the voltages, the statuses, the power consumptions, and more. And that's all before taking into account GPS data, gyro data, sensors for the turbine, and so much more. Unfortunately though, this does not include our timer, which doesn't come back from the model. It's processed directly on the radio, and as such, it isn't actually a telemetry value. Fortunately, there is a way around this though, at least in the Powerbox version of the vSpeak Glasses module, and it's a surprisingly cool solution. In the web app, we can actually choose timer and within the app, we set how long we want to fly for, in minutes and seconds. But if this is set in the web app, and not in the radio or telemetry, how do we set it going? Well, once we're wearing the glasses, and we're ready for the timer to start, we just swipe our hand in front of the glasses, and as if like magic, the timer starts. Or stops, if it was already running. It's also worth noting that if running turbine telemetry, as I am in my FC1, instead of using a timer, I'm actually using the fuel remaining telemetry data, which is more accurate than a fixed timer, and as it is a telemetry, I can actually get that in my glasses. An obvious question that comes to mind is, what if we wear 
prescription glasses, or sunglasses. Well, for this, vSpeak has a dedicated page on their website to answer and update with the most up-to-date answers and options. As a sneak preview, however, the main suggestions currently would be Number one, if you use contact lenses, well, you can obviously choose any sunglasses that you like. Number two, if you use prescription glasses, as long as they're not huge, you could go with the Engo 2 series and use them as over glasses. So basically on top of your prescription glasses. This is actually what Enrico Theater does from the Elster team. And anyone who's seen one of his displays knows that it works perfectly. Or you could follow this creative solution in which they've attached some existing lenses to the sunglasses themselves. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.